Hmm. I think I'll have this steak. Very good, sir. Well done. Thank you. All right, you ferny maniacs. Let me introduce you to the Middle Mist's Red Camellia, a flower so rare it makes finding a matching sock in your laundry seem like a party game made by Santa Claus. This botanical beauty hails from the Camellia family, a group of flowers that's basically the Kardashians of the plant world, flashy, attention-grabbing, and requiring way too much care needed to survive. But unlike your garden variety camellias, the Middle Mist's Red is playing a hardcore game of hide-and-seek. Right now, there are only two known specimens of this flower in the entire world. That's right, two. As in fewer Middle Mist's Red exist than your chance at winning at the slot machine. Good luck. So what does this elusive flower's rare characteristics look like? Well, imagine the love child of a rose and a peony, but with a better fashion sense. It's bright pink, despite its name insisting it's red, which will chalk up to the 19th century colorblindness. It also has dense, velvety petals that spiral together in a way that screams, I'm too pretty for this low-quality YouTube video. What were you saying? Uh, I mean, leave a like and subscribe, guys, and uh, climate change is real, always recycle, and... And vegetarians are evil. One of these two plants resides in the Chiswick House and Gardens in London, where it's kept under conditions so controlled that it probably has a more detailed skincare routine than you do. The other is chilling somewhere in New Zealand, because apparently, even flowers think that living in one of the most isolated countries is much better than being in the mainstream media. And that's it. Two plants, a whole world apart. Desperately holding onto their species like the last two brain cells during an all-nighter before finals. So how did this flower become rarer than meat when it's in the swimming pool? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane, all the way back to the early 19th century. This story starts with John Middlemist, a British nursery owner and part-time flower thief, I mean importer. He brought the plant from China to the UK in 1804. Back then, people were obsessed with exotic plants. If it came from far away and didn't immediately kill you, then you better believe people will salivate with just the thought of having one. Middle Miss probably thought, Wow, jolly, this flower is gorgeous, and totally not doomed to become a living relic. And promptly named it after himself because modesty was not a thing in the 1800s. The Middle Miss Red quickly fell out of fashion though. Why? Because camellias, in general, are finicky divas. They need just the right balance of water, sunlight, and soil pH. Get it wrong, and they'll wither faster than the amount of people who go to the gym after New Year's. Combine that with the fact that plant-keeping trends shifted over time, and suddenly, this flower was yesterday's news. It also didn't help that no one thought to, you know, preserve it. People were too busy obsessing over tulips or ferns or whatever the 19th century version of hip and happening selection of flower was. Meanwhile, back in China, where the flower originally came from, the Middle Mist Red was already on its way out. Industrialization and urbanization destroyed much of its natural habitat. By the time anyone noticed, the plant was gone from the wild, leaving behind only a handful of specimens in private collections. Fast forward to the present day and the Middle Mist Red became the botanical equivalent of a loving and caring single father. There's so few of them that seeing one in your lifetime is considered a miracle. Botanists and horticulturists have tried to propagate it. But it's not as simple as sticking a seed in the ground and praying to the almighty plant god for the best. The flower doesn't produce seeds reliably, which means growing more of them requires cloning. A process that's about as straightforward as learning advanced algebra while juggling flaming swords. There's also the issue of its environment. Remember how I said it's a diva? The Middle Mist's Red has even more specific demands. It needs a mild climate, well-draining soil, and a gardener willing to sacrifice their social life. That's a tall order, especially when the plant is already rare and scientists are working with limited genetic material. It's like trying to assemble a puzzle with two pieces but you have to find a rest in the Bermuda Triangle. But here's the silver lining. The rarity of the Middle Mist Thread has made people realize the importance of preserving plants and their habitats. Conservationists are now going above and beyond to ensure this flower doesn't disappear entirely. 
So while the middle mist red may be rare, it's also a symbol of how far we're willing to go to save even the most finicky members of the plant kingdom. And there you have it, the story of the world's rarest flower. It's beautiful, mysterious, just a little bit extra. Honestly, if it weren't a plant, it would probably have its own reality show. So buddies, other than that, stay hydrated.